So the Blue Edge program stands for Educate, Develop, Grow and Empower. This year in 2019 we have delivered the pilot to four different sites. And we've got a site here at Charles La Trobe College, uh, one at Fitzroy High and then schools in Shepparton and Ballarat as well. Blue Light Victoria partners with the local school and the local police members and we all come together to deliver the Blue Edge program. The Blue Edge program that I've been really fortunate to run at, at Phoenix College has enabled them to come together. It's created better networks throughout the school. It's linked them to teachers in a much more personal way. The teachers that have come along and trained alongside the kids as equals. The police mentors that have come along trained alongside the kids as equals. So it's really been about breaking down barriers, breaking down stereotypes. At first it was a bit of a shock to them. When we rock up in plain clothes, obviously we sort of fit into the group a bit better wearing the same top as them and just shorts and runners. And then when I rocked up in uniform, I think they were a little bit taken back that I was actually a real life police officer. But as the session wore on and we got further into it, they just became accustomed to me being in uniform and it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. When I was younger, I used to hate the police a lot. And when I went into this program, I reckon I've loved the police a lot more than I used to. So I reckon my confidence has built up. So if I ever need them, I can talk to them. So I reckon I'm more confident with them. So I've seen Will actually um, thrive after the course. And the simple reason he has more confidence to talk to people. Look, I actually thought that Will wouldn't participate. I actually didn't think he'd get out of bed and go. But after he participated, he wanted to go back. We missed one for the whole duration of the program. And he was actually upset that he missed that. I think he felt like he had people around him that cared and they showed they cared. When we have the little like talking sessions, learning about the police officers' stories, like sometimes like I remember one of them came in and told us our story is really touching. They're really strong but they do also have feelings like everyone else. The more insight we can give them into what we do, the better understanding it is that they're going to have for them to understand why we're doing it. And I think that's where this whole building of respect comes from. I guess pass on this respect of the badge to their classmates and their peers and hopefully as a ripple effect we see that what's happening at the moment in society curbs back the way that it it was once before where there is that respect for the badge and you know when they see that we are humans and that we aren't out there to get people we're out here you know doing a job and there's obviously a time and a place for our job but there's also a time and a place to have fun. Definitely and it doesn't even just doesn't stop there with the kids here we go out to the school grounds and the other kids are approaching us and talking to us and saying we can't wait to be part of the program so that's a great success in itself.